I think grower tools like this are a fantastic thing that we come and see our customers, they meet us, we talk to each other and look, they're more than welcome to come home and, and have a look at my farm any time they want. It's about showing growers their investment in Interflower as well as getting to know the end customer. They seem to be beaming with pride to be associated with us. The size of the business was a lot bigger than, than I envisaged and it's high tech, very, very clean inside. I was amazed that we had to go through the quarantine process to get inside. They do hit a thousand tonne a day here, so yeah, it's a lot of grain. They're incorporating local people into management. They're not just working in the companies, they're trading them up in management as well. So that will help reach into their communities to give them more leadership opportunities and education for their people. The market in Vietnam has changed significantly with economic progress and 49% of people under 30, people are now consuming more beer, more bakery products, and of course, traditional noodles. This is a fundamental change, a growing market for Australian grain. They want healthy food, they want good food, they want the surety that what we give them is good quality, we've got it. And I know that because we grow it and, and we know it's really good. We've just got to get them to realise it's there. Looking at Interflower, the amount of countries they're in, it's incredible. They spread right around Southeast Asia, and with the markets increasing so much, there's huge potential there for WA growers. There's nothing that beats coming to Asia and appreciating that it's a price-driven market. We just have to produce what we can at a price that's fair for everyone, for our businesses and theirs seeing how much development's happening. You can see that there's huge potential for growth. We are part of it now and we can be a very, very big part of it going into the future. A lot of companies think they can just come in and get grain, chuck it on a ship and take it overseas and sell it. It's not that easy. You're dealing with government, you're dealing with regulation and a lot of these things take six to 12 months. CBH has got a lot of good relationships over the years and I think if you can keep that, it'll make that process a lot easier. CBH is really working hard at all levels. It's the work that they have to do and the compromises they make to keep access and develop access. It's brilliant. When I bump into some of my mates after I've been on this tour, I'm going to tell them all about the, the markets that we're accessing and the potential of our future growth and I'll encourage them to put their hand up and come on a tour like this and learn more about their company.